Hi family, this is the luck mom here. Deborah Nchika is my name. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia. I mostly operate awareness on what happens in the Middle East. Sometimes I do help those uh, domestic workers who are stuck in the Middle East countries. Maybe you have been dumped at the hospital. Your agent has blocked me. You, you can just reach me out and then I'll be able to ensure they have unblocked you because that is their responsibility. Any challenge you are facing, you can just reach me out. You've lost your loved one, you don't know where to start from. You can just reach me out, I'll give you direction on where to start from. You have your missing person, we can help you uh, trace your missing person together with the Luck Mom family. So today I'm just here because I want to share something which is very important and it is going to help each and every one of us. Team Strong, you need to listen to this. This is happening mostly in Saudi Arabia. You have a problem with your employer and then you share with the group you you can share it in whatsapp group and then somebody will give you some people will just share with you some numbers like call these people they are from embassy they will just come for you so then you will just believe huh? you believe like they will come for me so mtu anakuambia kuna watu wa embassy wanakusaidia watakukujia hadi penye huko and you believe it that is a lie i want people to understand like this is a lie there is no way an embassy person will just come and pick you from where you are working. The only person who is supposed to come and pick you if your boss has, uh, been, uh, has rejected to return you back to the office is the person from the office. You know your contract is between you and your office and your boss. So by the time the embassy comes in, it's after they have gone through your office. So kuna watu wamedanganywa. I'm sharing this because of one of my friends uh alidanganywa akaambiwa ninakukujia mimi ni mtu wa embassy. Hakuna mtu wa embassy atakukujia kwa bosi wako tafadhali my sisters. Utatupa mbao. And then uh kuna watu mtu anasema unapewa hiyo namba ya mtu wa embassy. Uh, maybe nina Ukiangalia ni namba ya Kenya. Uh, mtu anakuambia pigia hao watu watakusaidia. I have around six cases watu wamekoniwa because of that. So watu wanakuambia uko wapi? Unawaambia maybe ni koda mom. So anakuambia tuma location. Unajua saa zile uko kwa shida you have no option. So unatuma location. Alafu mtu anakuambia uh, now that you have sent location, utatuma pesa ya transport. So ladies who are in, in Saudi Arabia, you need to listen to this. So unatuma pesa ya transport, wanaweza kukuambia you send 7,000, you send 10,000, depending vile wanaona, ukiwambia ushida yako kwa aji. Tena watataka kujua kama umelipua vitu kama hizo. So ukisema mimi ni melipua lakini mateso, wanajua wewe ukona pesa. And those people, they are just in embu. We just decided to follow up to them, we realized wako embu. So kazi yao, ni kuchukua hizo, wanakuja kwa mga groups, za live groups, like wakiniona Facebook, wanakuja pale, they leave uh, a comment in the comment section, like, ukitaka embassy kusaidie ni kona hii namba, ni, ni contact. So wanaacha namba. So ni kishano hizo namba, I delete them, because I know ni wezi. So there are three men in embu, Iyo ndiyo biashara wanafanya na wamejua tu mtu akiwa kwa shida she can do anything to save her life. So ukiwauliza mmefika wapi utatuma pesa watakwambia hiyo pesa itoshi ongeza. Ongeza. I want people if you ha happen to see this video na umeona hao watu kwa comment section za watu ama wanakuja kwa live za watu wanasema wao ni watu wa embassy. Number 1 you need to understand that embassy haiwezi kuja kukuchukua kutoka kwa boss direct. They have to come through the office hiyo ofisi ambayo ilikupeleka. So hakuna vile mtu anaweza kuja kwa bosi ya kutoa like mimi ni mtu wa embassy. Hata hiyo it makes sense. Watu wasi usikubali mtu wa kubebea akili. Like ni mtu wa embassy amekuja akanichukua hapana. Mtu wa embassy haezi kukujia kwa boss. Wanapitia anga ofisi na ni ina, na ni watu wa labor. So mtu wa embassy kuna kuna watu wanafanya hiyo kazi. Ni watu wa labor office watakuja kwa ofisi yako wakufuate kutoka huko through your office. So I want to sound a warning to those ladies when you wanna kwa uh, deceived araka. Una danganya, una tumana pesa yako. Mi watu wana nifikia, wana niambia like mom, tayari wamesha nikon 50,000. Walikuwa meniambia watanisaidia, ata mtu wana nitumia ma messages. 
So when I, I, I did a follow-up, I, 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 I connected with the DCI work, I realized that what was embu. So we would have a sweat, na mashida zako, and then unakuja unalia kwa groups, unapewa wrong number, unatuma pesa yako kwa wrong number, and then unakumbuka badai, ah, unakuanga na laki mamu. Wacha ni muambie. So mtu wanakutumia ma screenshot analia, mpaka unashanga, we uli, ulisikia wapi ya mbasi wanakuja penye unafanya kazi. Ni ofisi yako itakuja ikutukue kwa sababu, wande wanajua penye uko. So au ni wezi. Au ni wezi and we need to share this so that at least we tunaweza saidia mtu mmoja ama wawili maybe you are the next victim so ukisikia mtu anasema ni waemba si anakukujia au wanakuombanga transport and then kuna kitu wana generate kama ama unaitwa debra the luck mom wana wana, wana generate at least from the embassy of kenya some a, a fake a fake form so wanakuuza wana jina lako wanakuuliza passport number and then they edit kwa cyber wanakutumia wanasema repatriation of the lucky mom debra from saudi arabia uh, so this is there was there was original copy of that person and then they have edited kwa cyber so we unatumiwa unasema si hao ni watu wa embassy hata iko na rapa stamp hata iko na rapa stamp ya iko Rapa stamp wiko wapi? Iyo kitu wainanga, I'm going to share those forms zenye wanawatumia. So mpaka unashanga, ai, hao watu wako concerned, hao niwezi. So empathy will not come to your boss's place. Wakuje kuchukua. Kama watakuja, ni watu wa labor, watapitia ofisi. Ndiyo wawakuje, because ofisi ni inajua location ya boss wako. So wacha kukua rahisi kushare your location. Your life matters. Usianza kushia location yako na mtu anakuambia yeye ni wa embassy anakuja kukuchukua there is a protocol watu wanapitianga kwa ofisi kama mtu wa embassy kuna shida kuna connection there is a procedure they follow they have to reach your office and then from your office they will come that one you have to trust me lakini hizo zingine unapeana location na tunakujua na mtu wa embassy you are getting it wrong so please if you happen to see this video you can just share it out let's help somebody somewhere and let's try to make this world a better place for everyone because everyone deserves better.